All right, so to do a problem like this, on number 14 on page 89, um, to do a problem like this, Brandon, what we're going to want to do is you guys, need to, you guys need to know a couple rules that we need to follow. One that we talked about with multiplication, if I had the product of two terms, that's equal then to the square root of the product of those two terms. Right? Remember you guys got to talk about that? Yep. Yes? Okay. So that, that works for multiplication. That's also going to work for division. So therefore, if I have the square root of a divided by p, that's just going to equal the square root of a divided by the square root of p. All right? So you look at this problem and you say, all right, well, what that means is negative square root of 4 divided by the square root of 9. So do I know the square root of 4? 2. Square root of 9? 3. And there's a negative second one on the outside. Okay. That's all fine. Are there no rules for the negatives? Yeah. Well, it's just being multiplied by negative one. So the answer is being multiplied by negative one. That's it. Actually, can you keep okay. point three? Second. Yeah. Okay.